Where I get? Hey guys, you want to hear something weird? Check this out. Hold on. I have this um, little USB power port on the side of my desk here, and here uh, everything is like. Remember, like yesterday, I was complaining about this hum, <laughs> ground hum. And check this out. When I plug in. I was recharging a, uh, a battery. When I plug it in, listen, listen, I'll plug it in. Oh, oh. <laughs> now I'll unplug it. Just like that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Anyways, I love figuring stuff out like that. Look at that. <sighs> Put all my stuff away. Here, what's going on, guys? Uh, ah. I'm, I'm playing with this tune that I was working on last night. The horns, man. If you guys haven't checked out Session Horns by Native Instruments, contact player, it's awesome. <laughs> as, as we all heard. Oh, I love it. Sounds great, man. I'm just totally getting into it right here. But, oh, and we checked, it, we checked out... Let's hear this. <laughs> Guitar's a lot of place. Let's go through here real quick. Use a key so yeah, I can slide into that right there. Ba -ba Let's just go through these blindly, cause I know where they're gonna go right here. I'll tell you where it's gonna go right here. Let's turn this down real quick while we're doing this little task. A da 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 da. Let's see what's that. Seven twenty. 240 Let's check that phrase out right there. I can get into that. We don't need no stinking sequencer. Back it up. Now back it up. Ba -da. Da -da. Back it up. I think that should be on the one. I think I should slide 
up on this second one. So what we're going to do is back that up. Let's make sure that that's on record, which it is. So I have that slide up on uh, C0. So what I'm going to do is just that quick. I just threw a little key switch in there real quick. So that'll slide up. Just make sure that's doing what I told it to. You're not C0. Let's do that over, boys and girls. Here we go. Back up, 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 back up,
nice little rainy day and I am all cozied up with a warm cup of joe a little bit of hazelnut little trashy little hazelnut syrup in there I love it okay well that is fun those horns are spectacular so real guitar Real guitar. Where are you at? I'm using, uh, I'm still using real guitar, real strat four on this one. Because I haven't had time to get into Elite, which is Yeah, this one's sick. Look at that. Anyways, what I got going here uh, is my key switches. And on real guitar, this is running through amplitude, by the way. You could run it through guitar rig or whatever you want. In this case, it's going through amplitude. And, um,. I got, this is pitch bend, and then you got your modulation. So my modulation's just, just doing what a finger would do after you hit a note. And then, typically, in a solo situation, I would have this slide off. So I'd be sliding out of notes, you know, so if I, well, first of all, yeah, I slide out of a note. Wait. So. In fact, I'd even make that a little longer. So that way it's like a, you know, I'm gonna natural guitar movement ending a note. And then on this top one, I have a, a pitch two, and that would just be a typical natural bend. So you get that natural, because a guitarist can't bend more than two. All right, and that's just that setup right there, basically. And this, I keep on legato and with hammer-ons on, so that. And then on the key switch, which I still am working on a da, da, da setup. Did that say setup? It said setup. Did I say setup? Yeah. Key switch setup. And what I have set up is on the very bottom C0 right down here is slide up and when you trigger slide up it automatically gives you a little natural guitar squeak there which you can turn off in the old mixer section here somewhere anyways trust me you can you can turn it off pretty easy and uh, I'm just gonna leave it on for now actually I think one of these might turn off Hey, 
There's another option. Anyways, that will slide up two steps. And I'm going to program basically two slide ups. So on C0, I got slide up. And so that's also like a like a hammer on into a note because guitarists don't just start notes like it's rare that you'll hear a, a guitarist start with just like a no it's always a there's always a slide in and a slide out so more natural and so then moving up on C sharp zero, I put a bridge mute. And that's my first black note right there. So as far as my fingers, I got slide up. And so if I were to do like a run and I want to use a mute, that is sticking up right there. And then for a really flexible legato slide is on right next to my slide up on D zero. So that way I can slide down or up. And you might ask, well, why not just use just the legato slide? A, I'm not, you know, I'm not short on key switch space because I got freaking no octave to do it with and I need I look forward to that slide that that two-step slide just being locked in so I don't even have to think about it otherwise I'd have to think about it and think oh where am I gonna start and slide up to this way it doesn't matter it just does it for me so if my first note is D just brings it right there So, because I didn't have a lot of time last night because I wanted to eat dinner and go to bed, that's as far as I got. So now I have a slide up, and then I have right here my bridge mute. Makes sense. Legato slide. And then right here, I'm going to put a trill, which is... E flat zero. Da, da, da. Wherever that is. We're just going to call it D sharp, I think. <laughs> it's in front of your face. Oh, Wirecat. Um, where am I at? Yeah. Tr no, not Tremolo. We're going to do a trill. Oh, i got to turn it on real quick. And check this out. And I want a two trill, just like a blues. second would be way too fast and so that's gonna be that so
or unison bend is what it's gonna be because unison bend is freaking cool we got this great for like the endings the big buildings you got that big unison bend what I am missing though is I want one more and I'm thinking about putting it on E and then saving the unison bend for like F sharp I think I will use the F sharp for a unison bend And then this. This E is going to be another slide up. Um, but I think it's going to be a five. Excuse me, not this. I want like a long. Oops. I think I could get away with um I already have a guitar going there, so I'm gonna let's see. So then unison. I think unison should just be on F. And then I think on this I'm gonna put like so unison. I'm just gonna put on that F zero. And then on this first F sharp, I'm actually gonna put the um uh, not harmonics, but um, violining. Oh, and they have it recommended. slide up C then right here bridge mute and then legato slide and then trill man I think it should be 30 I don't remember what I used to have it set on it's been a while but I think it might be does not seem right. All right, trill and then ease that extra long slide up. And then unison bend, F. That first 
F's. And then I think I'm just going to use, I'm not going to use the G. I'm going to use the next black key up and put harmonics. So G sharp. sharp is going to be exactly what it says it is right now ironically here we go <laughs> established we're going to yeah we're gonna right click we're gonna click here we're gonna save settings should just save it as a fucking default huh I think I will I just saved as the default yeah I'm happy with that so we see all our triggers right here. Key switches, key switches, boom. Nice. in this too, right? So like... Wait, what happened to that note? Hold on. No, it didn't crash. Wow. I thought for sure it was over. Everything stopped. This is great. Let's stop this. We're going to go back up and do it. We promised to do uh, just a little over 24 hours ago. And that was, as I realized, I could pull this out a little bit longer and still be on the screen. Then we got this. And we're going to go pa and end our little session with real strat temporarily. Pans uh, I got this organ. And yesterday I got rid of it because it was just too in the way because it was in the same lower register as as oh the horns yeah so today with a vengeance i'm back let's see how this is going to work here <laughs>
What is this? Oh. Yeah. All right. I'm not feeling the organ, guys. I don't think it needs it. I mean, it's just full. Mr. Organ. I might just get rid of Sample Tank for now because it's just in the way, I reckon. I mean, it's not being used. And it took a long time to, took longer to boot this whole thing up today. So let's, I think you're going bye-bye. Later. I don't need you. Never wanted you in the first place on this project. All right, let's be serious. Um, yeah. This is coming along. I don't know what else. Uh, well, I know it's gonna gonna do this like two or three times, and then right here. Oh, it's gonna get good, dude. I'm gonna break it down. I'm gonna break it down. West Coast style, G. Little kick and stick. Boom, 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 boom. boom. Might pull out an organ then. I don't know. But uh, what else do I got here? Let's check this out. Got a new delay from Ample from Applied Acoustics. And I wanted to see where they put it. I think they put it under Effects. Applied Acoustics. Yeah, Object Delay. Ho oh, ho ho ho, baby! Oh, <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, what was I doing? I was going to check this out. So I got this, this little, have you guys seen the interface of this thing? The little applied acoustic strum machine. This little bad boy. Yeah, we went through this yesterday. This is the... F I, so I break this thing out. And this is like the first... This is the, this is the second time this happened. Because it happened with um, Finger Picker. It was the very first thing I played on it. And it just... I was like... Damn, I like that. Right? And so this is like... This is the first thing I played on it. I was thinking, that is dark. I was like, thought I was gonna like, be like, but a da 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 Something like that. But no, it's not really a dark song at all, dude. It's actually a jam. Because I added the bass. Of course, I could still do that kind of melody, but it doesn't feel like that at all anymore. Especially when you add the horns. It kind of turns into a party. Yeah. Just went from Seattle to freaking LA in just like two instruments. <laughs> it ain't a bummer at all. This is a happy tune. We're jamming. Da 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 da. What if you just? I want to hear. Let's isolate the horns real quick.
right, all right, all right, all right, all right. What have we done? Anything productive at all? Yeah, yeah, we did. We got some key switches programmed into this bad boy. So whenever we plug it in now, I'm going to have my rig. And that's what I'm going to call it, motherfuckers. My rig. So if you ever, from here on out, you hear me say, let me just pull up my rig. This is my rig. You want to do a rig rundown on my rig, motherfucker? We can do that. Come on. Guitar magazine. Whatever. Come on over. I'll show you. This is what I'm working with. This is my rig. My guitar tech Randy over there. I got a custom 150W, whatever that means. And let me show you what I got here. I got all this stuff. There's my rig. This is my rack unit. And here's my pedal board. I got all these custom pedals, just like, you know, Santana. Yeah. Racks for days. I hope you guys are uh, having as much fun as I am. Wirecat.